Hello class, this is Dr. Carl Letamendi. This is a video lecture of chapter three from the Leading with Cultural Intelligence text by Mai Moa. Once again, um, all of the credit goes to the author of the book. I didn't create any of this content, I'm just facilitating it. So chapter three is called Cultural Intelligence Defined. This is a pretty short presentation. It's a pretty short chapter two. And it begins by introducing what cultural intelligence means. So cultural intelligence is one's ability to successfully adapt to unfamiliar cultural settings. So that's what it's all about. Just being able to quickly adapt to change, adapt to others' ideologies, others' principles. It's the idea of uh, um, the idea of cultural intelligence is an immensely useful tool in business, and you can probably imagine why. Because if you can make people feel comfortable, um, if you can negotiate with them properly, if you have a better idea of their cultural norms, their cultural expectations, you know what cues to avoid and you know what cues to employ. Um, it brings the attention to the differences in thought and behaviors due to cultural factors. You also get a chance to increase the success of multicultural team performance as well. Um, whether you're managing a team whose culture is different than yours or you are managing a multicultural team as the PowerPoint here says. Leaders who are culturally intelligent have awareness of how culture contributes to communication and creates shared learning. Tuning into cultural intelligence. When in unfamiliar cultural settings, um, the signals that you receive are vastly different from your own, and you recognize them immediately. You are not familiar with what your new surroundings are communicating. You look for cues and signs to help you adjust. You cannot rely on what you know and what you can take along. In, intercul in intercultural interactions, our skill sets and our knowledge may not be enough to cope in a new cultural environment. Right? So, you know, what you learn, even, even now, like in this class, you're learning about cultural in intelligence. You can read the book from cover to cover, which I know you all will do. Um, but even still, that doesn't seem to be enough. It's a good start, and you can get yourself informed um, about how to adapt and whatnot, but it's really through experiences and navigating through these environments that you're going to have uh, an increased awareness of other cultures and even stronger sense of cultural intelligence. We need to be able to learn how to turn off or reset ourselves to better adapt to the new situation. So this just goes back to having that flexibility to quickly adjust, right? Someone who is not culturally intelligent um, stands their ground with their mindset, does not accept others' perspectives. Maybe they get, you know, um, you get a sense that the person is kind of arrogant or that they're hard-headed. Uh, so that's someone who is cu not culturally intelligent. But someone who is culturally intelligent has the ability to quickly adapt. And that's a skill that takes time to develop. The cultural intelligence model is a research-based model of intelligence, and it helps leaders work through intercultural dilemmas and create understanding and awareness across and between cultures. Cultural intelligence emphasizes three main areas, metacognition and cognition, motivation, and behavior. And the text will go a little deeper into these three areas, the metacognition, cognition, motivation, and behavior, um, and you'll be discussing it uh, in this unit, so make sure that you're aware of it. And there are some ABCs of cultural intelligence, which actually should be the ABCBs, right? That's the acronym. It's acquire, build, contemplate, and do. And this is kind of like what the model looks like. Um, the point here is just to show that it's an interconnected system, right? You, know, you have to acquire intelligence and then build on your skill sets, contemplate and then do. So then this is kind of like the, the, the flow of how um, the, the proposed cultural intelligence model. You acquire knowledge, 
uh, and acquisition of information and knowledge is fundamental to inter and cross-cultural interactions and it represents cognition. You want to build your strategic thinking which is your ability to build awareness of your surrounding through preparation and planning and this represents metacognition. Contemplate your motivation and ability to work with others. This is the C, right? And it's the ability to pay attention to your surroundings, your responses to unfamiliar situations based on your judgment and biases. And this represents the contemplating uh, part of the model. Adapt and perform. Being conscious of how your life choices influence those around you. What makes cultural intelligence unique? Uh, cultural intelligence provides an integrated approach to training and dealing with knowledge and learning, motivation and behavior. Emotional intelligence is one's ability and capacity to identify, assess, and manage one's emotions as well as others' emotions. Right? So it's kind of like cultural intelligence, but it's on the emotional side, right? Just being able to quickly um, adapt to those emotions too. Social intelligence is the ability and capacity to sense one's inner state, feelings, and thoughts in relation to one's social environment and react appropriately. Adaptation refers to the ability to modify oneself based on the culture and the environment that you're in. Um, so adaptation is again uh, one of the most one of the most important. They're all important, but is one of the, um, the, the fundamental skill sets of someone who is culturally intelligent, just being able to act, uh, adapt and assimilate. And take note of all of these keywords because you'll see them again in the assignment. Definitely we'll see them in the, in the exam. Empathy means ability to be aware of and understand an individual's or culture's feelings, thoughts, perspectives, and experiences. And the key word in empathy is understand right it's just having that ability to understand um, their perspectives and their viewpoints on life cultural intelligence is a growing field that's continuously being researched and tested in many societies it emphasizes a circular path not a linear one um, one will continue to learn and their cultural intelligence will expand it's a broad approach that looks at developing a set of skills, awareness, and knowledge to adapt and interact with multiple cultures. Labyrinth of cultural intelligence. Labyrinths serve as metaphors for personal journeys into the self and back into the world. You make the choice to enter the path and start a journey. You make the choice to continue the journey or to end it by retracting your steps. Journey into cultural intelligence is similar to entering a labyrinth also. It's not a maze necessarily. It's a journey that brings you to a deeper awareness of yourself and your place in the world. And walking through this labyrinth is a time, it is, a, it is, an, is a discovery that takes a lot of time, right? Careful listening and the willingness to take risks and to challenge yourself can lead you to transform. Uh, and the journey serves as a container for your life experiences as well. You will see that your path is sometimes shared with others and at times it is yours alone. So you may even meet some people navigating through this labyrinth as well. So this concludes the very short uh, PowerPoint presentation of chapter 3 from the uh, Leading with Cultural Intelligence text. Um, it, just to review what's due for Unit 2. It's in the shell, in D2L. Um, so here are the learning outcomes. Whenever you have a chance, just make sure you read them. Make sure you read Chapter 3 and you review PowerPoint Chapter 3, which if you watch this video, you've already reviewed Chapter 3. Um, make sure you do your assignment number 2, your discussion questions for Unit 2, and your Unit 2 exam. So you can pretty much use these as a checklist. You can print them out and just cross this off as you do them. And... As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, you can always feel free to contact me and I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.